Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here, welcome to part 11 of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Last time we did some stuff. We got some treasures, got Ashley killed a few times, which is always a good day, except that it screws you over in this game and makes you fail your mission. Now we're going to see what that rocket launcher we bought is for. Leon, you should not open the door. Oh, cutscene. You better stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. Don't put your hands down during this. I'm gonna say that now. Do not put your hands down or you're going to die. I still awake. Slenderman, guys! That is our next boss. It's Mr. Slenderman thing. What you want to do is hit him with a few of these incendiaries. Oh, crap! Uh, incendiary? You want to hit him with a couple of those, and we'll take that, actually, while we can. Now we're going to run through the fire and the flames, turn around, and we're going to hit him with a third incendiary. Oh, it worked! Wow! On professional, it takes four. Now he is even more pissed off. And now, pull out the rocket launcher, one shot kill. Well, guys, that was our boss. That was actually, that boss can be pretty tough without the rocket launcher if you don't have a lot of incendiaries either. I could have sworn it takes four on a professional to down him. Or three in a lot of gunfire. He also gives you 30,000 money, which is very good because that basically makes up for buying the rocket launcher. And we don't waste any of our ammos that we will need for later enemies and bosses. They actually give you an incendiary in here, which is kind of nice. So first we want to scavenge all of these supplies from this building. A spinel that we honestly could never, ever really need. I always hit the wrong button. It's kind of annoying, actually. That herb, it, those herbs did not look correct, therefore I had to fix them. Uh, we're gonna drop this ammo in here. Man, we've got a lot of shotgun shells. We got a fair amount of uh, other ammos too. One of each type of grenade left, that's good. We always wanna have a few grenades. We're a little lower on healing items though than I would like to be, but we'll get used to it. Get used to it if you're going to play through on professional at least, because that's how it's going to be your entire professional playthrough. One or the other is always going to be extremely low. But up here there is a yellow herb somewhere. I think it's on the other side. Hand grenade. Red herb. And the yellow herb. Very nice. Oh, another green herb. Okay. Nice. Let's do a bit of combine a ming now we can increase our maximum health. I'm going to combine that as well and drop it down to here. So now we've got a few blocks of space left. I'm going to pull out the shotgun for no good reason. So yeah, that was a very easy boss, as you guys saw, if you use my strategy. And I don't call that one cheap. I think that's just good strategy. There are a few other bosses, though, that I will be buying the rocket launcher for. 
Namely, well, technically I won't have to buy the one to fight Vertigo, and it's by far better to use one on Vertigo than to try to avoid him. And then, uh, who is he? Uh, Salzar, I believe, is who it is, is going to be the target that we meet a little bit later on. He's a later boss. He is incredibly good to fight with a rocket launcher because it makes that fight just so easy and then you don't have to waste any equipment. And then maybe I'll buy one to fight the U3, maybe not, because I killed him without too much difficulty on... Oh, okay, so I can sell that. I just want to make sure. I beat him without too much difficulty on normal without a rocket launcher, but I swear I could not beat him no matter how hard I tried on a, on professional until I bought the rocket launcher. So next up we want to save just because we just beat a boss. Let's see, we saved here. All right, very nice, very, very nice. So yeah, I'll probably be buying the rocket launcher two more times and then using it for another one, because you do get one free rocket launcher a little bit later in the game. I think it's in chapter three that you get it, if I remember correctly, sometime in the middle of chapter three. And it's well worth taking, like I just said. So actually, there is nothing else we can do down there since we've already gotten the cat's eye treasure. I know, unfortunately, we missed the uh, red gem because we would have had to go through that other path with the uh, that we died on a couple times earlier. I died to that uh, Plogus head. So instead, I am just going to go this way and go ahead and complete this part of the game. We may actually almost be ready to enter the castle, if I remember correctly. Okay, we need to use this eye. You actually cannot skip this. Okay, let's enter the gate. And I think we've got a cutscene here. Yep. Okay, we're almost to the castle. Okay, what we want to do here, pull out the handgun. Now... Walk a little bit further. What is he doing? A truck! Ashley, you stand here. Shoot the driver and then he careens off into that little spot right there. If you're still up there, he can end up, you know, hitting you. And that's just never a good thing, because that is an instant kill thing. Okay, so I think that there is a way to avoid fighting the remaining Plogus that'll spawn. But since we're going to be getting the riot gun very soon, actually maybe even just a few minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and use up some of my shot this shotgun's worth of ammo, just so that it doesn't really go to waste. Because like I... Ashley... Stay away from Plogus face, head, guy, thing. There we go, I got him. And I see no need of wasting any more of that shotgun shells on me. Hey, dude, of course he's a Plogus face, head, thing. Okay, he's dead. We're not going to reload that because we should be able to buy the riot gun next chapter. And the riot gun is, of course, a better version of the shotgun because it's, well, it's just better in, like, every way, if I remember correctly. I believe we're also going to start encountering a new treasure here. Yes, the Velvet Blue. Actually, no, I don't think that's new. I think we may have found it once or twice before, but, uh... It's basically just worth two spinels a piece, so 2,000 points a piece. On the other side of the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea.
End of chapter. I am not going to save because we will be able to save in like a minute. So I don't believe there's anything back here. I just want to check and make sure. No point in turning back now. Okay, I just want to make sure there wasn't any items and stuff out there, but I didn't think there were. So what we want to do now is, well, break these barrels and stuff first. Then we're going to break this one. These. There's a snake in there. Stupid snake. Okay, Mr. Snake, do you wish to die now? You wish to die. I am happy to provide that for you and to take your chicken egg that I can use to heal Ashley at some point, or next time she needs to be healed. Because up next is a very fun part of the game, guys. Oh, we, you guys know what's coming next. It is one of the most fun epicness things of all time. You guys know what's coming. You guys may know what's coming. Let's talk to Merchant Man and see what's new for sale today. Got some rare Finally new stuff. Ooh, the attache case L. I will take that right now. The treasure map for the castle. Definitely wish to have that. The broken butterfly magnum. Now, this does not use the same ammo as the handguns, obviously, because it's so powerful. We will actually be able to get a free broken butterfly, though, in a couple of chapters, so we are not going to buy it. The black tail is, some people will argue that it's better than the red nine. I personally, it's more balanced than the red nine, but the red nine eventually gets an upgrade that makes it do 6.5 damage per shot. Black tail never even really gets that close to it. So we're not even gonna try. Mm, man, I gotta decide what I wanna buy here. That's a lot of good stuff. First, we'll tune up the capacity to get a couple of free bullets. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to buy anything else just yet, though. Next selling? up, we're going to sell the shotgun. <sighs> I, yeah. Thank you. And we're going to buy the... Uh, where is it? The riot selling. gun. <laughs> now I need to reorganize before I choose to buy... If I choose to buy the semi-automatic rifle, I need to do some reorganizing. I know this is probably going to be boring to you guys, but it's the only way I can make sure that I have enough space for everything. I should have more than enough space for the semi-auto rifle, though. Move that over here. Move that here. Move that. Move this. Uh, we'll put that here. Where else can I move stuff to? I can't remember how many blocks the semi-auto rifle takes up, but I think I should have enough on that bottom row right now. Because I would like to go ahead and have a rifle. We're going to need it for later in the game anyway. I will buy that now, Mr. Merchant Man. I'm not going to break down and buy the Tump yet. I'm going to wait a little while till we buy that, because I don't really need it yet. Actually, you know what? I might be able to do some tune-ups now. I could tune up the Red Nine's firepower, but it's good for now, I think. Uh, riot Gun, definitely want to tune that up. <laughs> Thank you. Semi-Auto Rifle, uh, the firing speed does not increase yet. Don't really need that, and we're obviously not going to do that. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Might as well. Thank you. And I guess I can bump up the Red Nine since I have the money right now. We're going to keep the Red Nine and the Semi-Auto through the rest of the game, though, because they're both useful. But we're going to sell the riot gun fairly soon, actually. Well, no, not fairly soon. It's like a chapter or two away, actually. And I will probably buy the Tump eventually, the TMP, eventually, because it actually has some very good usage later in the game. All right, we're going to save over this one this time. So, yes, it actually has some very good use later in the game, just because... It doesn't do a ton of damage, as you might expect, but it can spray bullets like pretty much no other weapon can, aside from the Chicago Typewriter, of course. But obviously we can't get the Chicago Typewriter on this playthrough because it's the first playthrough on this file, so we can't get it. Now here comes one of the most annoying parts of the entire game. 
unless Ashley has night armor, this part is incredibly annoying. Pick up the rifle ammo and pull out the semi-auto rifle. Now, some people will argue that it's better to keep the bolt-action rifle and not buy the semi-automatic. And it's because the bolt-action rifle gets a really, really good, uh, its exclusive upgrade bumps its damage up to something like way higher than the semi-auto. I don't remember exactly what. So it bumps up its damage a lot, but the semi-auto rifle just has too many advantages. It fires, you know, faster, and it has, I believe, a bigger clip size and everything. And actually, hold on a second, back up. If I can angle this shot just right, we can kill that one. Very nice. So these guys are going to be launching catapult stuff at you. They are not very nice, to say the least. I'm trying to lure them away from hitting me for a second. What I want to do before anything else is get Ashley inside of this place. I can't remember if the official name of these guys is Zealots or not. I can't remember if that's the later enemies, but their helmets are pretty much impenetrable by any normal weapon. I believe the only weapons that actually can penetrate them are the hand cannon, which is an exclusive weapon that you only get after getting uh, all the mercenary stuff. And I believe that, well, obviously the rocket launcher can. Actually, well, I don't know. The fully upgraded broken butterfly may be able to, but I don't think it can. Okay, there's still two more. Okay, one more. One more. I'm going to pull out the bolt action to, or the bolt action, the rifle to hit him. Okay, let's pull out the rifle. I see you, bro. But unfortunately, we do not have a shot at him right here. Great. Well, no use in putting Ashley in the face of danger where she will probably end up getting me my mission failed. I don't want to go any further than I have to so I can avoid trying to get hit by this one. Because those catapults, they do a lot of damage. But generally, it's more worrying about Ashley possibly getting killed. Oh, crap. Haha, <laughs> you missed. You didn't lead your target, bro. And he is dead. Oh, hello. You actually kind of surprised me there. I wasn't expecting you. I was trying to figure out what that noise was. It was apparently you two. All right, bro, you get to die now, Mr. Man. They're all dead. And now that they're all dead, I can run back here and grab a treasure that I did not pick up before. Do not want to miss this. It's not one of the more valuable ones, but hey, it's still 8,500 money, so you might as well pick it up. I mean, it can't hurt to have an extra 8,500 money when it doesn't even risk your life to get it. Uh, once we open up this gate, though, I will uh, go back down and grab a couple things that I missed in terms of, like, equipment and stuff. Let's just fire this cannon that was primed and ready to destroy this gate. And let's look at our map real quick. Well, there is a merchant up there. There will be a save point right in there. So this video, I don't know if this video will end up being longer than 20 minutes or not. Might let it run like to 25 full just because, just because there's a save point right up there and it's just a little bit out of reach of a 20 minute mark. So I might as well just make the video about as long as I can make it. Try to get to a stopping point at least. Oh, wait. I, I want that. Uh, I don't know why I didn't take that at first. Money and a treasure and an incendiary grenade. Not the worst prize as possible. And unfortunately, if you leave Ashley down at the very bottom down there, like I have tried before, and there's also a spindle in here. 
if you leave Ashley down there, she'll actually get killed. Like, the, well, she won't get killed. She'll be out of the reach of the attack, but the, the black-robed guys will, or whatever they're called, maybe Zelos, I can't remember if that's their exact name, but they will be, uh, they will come pick her up and take her away. So it's generally not a good idea to go there. I doubt you've got anything useful because we just talked to you like five Don't minutes ago. Rare. What are you buying? I just want to check and make sure. I mean, we could buy the tone, I just don't think I need it yet. Uh, what's new for the riot gun? Wow, I could already tune up its firepower again. I don't really need that, though. And we don't need that either, because that would just be a waste for now. Leon, where's your current location? We decided to lay low in a castle, but it looks like it was a bad move. Meaning? Well, it appears that this castle is also connected with the Los Illuminados. They must not get many visitors here, because they're giving me one hell of a welcome. Sounds bad. I have an idea, Leon. I need you to... What? Repeat, Hunnigan. Great. Just my luck. And we're not going to quite reach the save point, so I'm just going to cut it off here, and next time we will save and do some other stuff. See you guys.